like it or not, things break. Shit happens, and it's the way that you respond to those kinds of scenarios that determines whether or not you can handle most situations in life. So I wasn't surprised to find out that BeatStars, the host of my and many producers' beats for online leasing, got hacked. What did surprise me is how they responded to getting hacked. And I think it's something that you as an artist or a producer should look at with a lot of detail because we can mirror a lot of the things they did right. Let's talk about it. So BeatStars is an online marketplace for producers. You can put your beats up and have them available for other artists to buy, to lease, et cetera, et cetera. It's a great resource, great team behind it. I recently switched over to the platform from another platform. And of course, they get hacked a few days after I set everything up. Fine. For my day gig, I work for a tech-related company, specifically dealing with when shit hits the fan, when things go wrong. So I know for a fact that all systems break. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And I think it's important to be prepared for those moments ahead of time so you're not juggling a bunch of things in air when things eventually do fall apart. It's the person that's prepared for drama that best survives drama. So that's the first bit of advice I can have for you. In all of the things that you do as a producer or as an artist, be prepared with a plan B and a plan C and a plan D if necessary because at some point in time, you're gonna need them. Back up your files regularly. Back up your library of music so that you don't lose your catalog one day. There's a lot of little small things you can do in order to future-proof yourself. And it was pretty clear that BeatStars had been doing that because they were able to get to a pretty decent working level within a few days, and that's an immense feat for such a big platform. Now, one big takeaway that I think we all should, uh, should have left this with is the need for you to have your own website. Now, I know you can point a custom domain to a page in BeatStars, so you can have your website be the BeatStars page, essentially. But I think it makes a lot more sense to host a domain and then have that be your central hub for all communication, because if something like BeatStars goes down, which is probably more likely than a big provider like GoDaddy going down, you can work around it. Um, I have, you know, obviously a BeatStars store, but I made a player that plays off of my website and that's where I point my traffic. And when BeatStars went down, I was able to remove the player temporarily and just point people to my YouTube channel so they could still browse my beats and get an idea of my sound while BeatStars took that time to get the platform back up and running. If I only was using a domain pointed directly to BeatStars and BeatStars went down, I'd be out of luck until they got things sorted again. Have your own website if you don't already. Have your own hosting and then take the other resources that you use and point them to your website. Um, for producers, I think it also makes sense to do it this way because it keeps people from bouncing to other producers' BeatStars pages. If they have to go to the BeatStars platform to take a look at your work, they're probably going to look at other producers while they're there. If they're going to your website, they're looking at your beats, your beats only, and any other cool content you might have put on your website. The next takeaway that I hope we all left with is have a system for non-automated sales. One of the benefits of BeatStars and platforms like it is that you can take payments in your sleep. Somebody buys a beat, they pay via PayPal, they get the files, you're good to go. And in most cases, that's how you want things to work. But by having a PayPal system set up, by having an invoicing system set up that you can manually edit, when things like this go down, you can still shop beats. Again, I was still able to point people to my YouTube page in an instance for a sale. I could sell directly via PayPal. I could invoice directly via PayPal. And all of my stems and track out files are hosted on a Google Drive. So I can just link directly via email. The whole show doesn't stop just because the store is closed down. The next thing I can suggest is to post your music to multiple outlets, especially if you're a producer. Um, obviously, I had stuff on BeatStars, but I have stuff on YouTube. I know producers that have stuff on SoundCloud as well. 
In this era of digital distribution, it makes sense to keep your music hosted in a couple of places, just in case one or two of them goes down. I even have all of my track downs again on a Google Drive and on Apple Cloud Storage so I can text beats out if I need to and then handle my sales manually. Um, this is also why it makes sense to bounce uh, vocal tagged versions of your beats. This way, when you're sending things out via direct correspondence, you don't have to worry about somebody stealing it and running off with it. The next takeaway that I wanted to talk about involves customer service. And customer service can literally make or break you. And in 2019 and going forward, customer service is social media. So I was extremely surprised to see how responsive the BeatStars team was on Twitter. In most cases, they would do some basic troubleshooting, some transparent dictation of what's going on every day or every other day. You had a status report on Twitter. They were responding to individual questions on Twitter. And it was that level of customer service that didn't leave room for producers to really be angry. When you're getting back to people on time as an artist, when you're staying true to your word, um, when you're being transparent about when things go bad, if you miss the show and you're telling people about it, you give yourself the chance to save the relationship. And again, I had just gotten to BeatStars a few days before they got hacked. I still have uh, my other marketplace set up. I could have very easily said, you know what, guys, this, this isn't the way I wanted this to be. Refund me. I'm going back to my old service. But I stuck around specifically because I saw how well BeatStars and their staff responded on social media. Customer service is everything you have if you don't have anything. If you can be forward-facing, transparent, likable, and deliver what you say you're going to deliver to your, to your fans and to your customers, that goes a long way. And it usually doesn't cost you anything but man hours. Salute to their team for that. I was very, very impressed. And the last thing that I'll talk about with regards to this BeatStars hack is that the internet is 24 seven and support in 2019 is community based because it's 24 seven. So again, kudos to the BeatStars team. They were on Twitter late at night and early in the morning giving answers, but when they weren't available to that strong BeatStars community that they've been building up online for years now, filled in the gaps and was able to communicate what's going on to other users. You would see people tweeting other producers answers to questions that they'd gotten earlier in the day because everyone had this kind of sense of community and wanted to help each other out. And I think as artists, as producers, it's super important to build that. And we have so many resources to do that now. I look at what Danny Brown is doing with Twitch and his Discord channel. I look at what certain producers are doing with Slack channels and with Facebook groups. There's just multiple ways of making sure that you're building a community of like-minded individuals so that when shit hits the fan, they can all help you through it together. And that was really, really cool to see. So once again, salute to the team at BeatStars. I hope you guys are doing well after days and days of recoding and, and figuring all that stuff out. I know how much of a nightmare that can be from firsthand experience. Um, wanted to send you my love. I thought you did an excellent job. And hopefully we all can think about how to future-proof our businesses a bit better after a hack like this. Until next time, good vibes. Peace. Man, this shit is sick.